This morning, we're doing something a little different. You know, normally you'd see my Z21 hooked up behind my Tundra there, but uh, today I've got my Regency pontoon boat. You know, it's kind of the end of summer, which is, is sad for me and my family. We love to pontoon boat, something that I've been doing for a lot of years, and you know, I've got to get it ready for winter. So we're up here at DNR Sports. You know, I started working here in 1987 selling boats, and we do a lot of service. And, I'm very fortunate because I can come up here and you know kind of get my winterization done, change my gear lube, but we're gonna go through the whole process of what it takes to get a boat ready for winter, whether you live in the south or the north, and you know, just to make sure you don't have any headaches in the springs. There's a lot more to it than just taking care of the engine and the batteries. I want to take care of the whole boat. So a big part of getting your boat ready for winter is obviously, you know, the engine and your electrical systems. You know, you want to take care of your batteries, uh, you want to stabilize the fuel. I'm gonna change the gear lube. Um, if you're going to store it, it, you know, outside in the winter, you know, you may want to fog the engine. I keep mine in, in my garage, so I don't have to do quite as many things, but we're going to go through everything that you possibly might need to do. So first and foremost, to change the gear lube, I've got to, uh, I've got to take the prop off. That's to get to it. So I've got a little prop wrench to make it real easy. And once I get her loose, it's pretty easy. So one of the things you definitely want to do is make sure there's no fishing line or anything behind there. So even if you don't have to take your prop off like I do to change the gear lube, you want to take it off just to check for weeds and uh, really especially fishing line. You don't want any of those seals going out. So once I get that off, I can um, get this trimmed down, get ready to drain that gear lube. So this is the part that really takes a while. I want to start this always first because that gear lube, it's a little cold right now and it's going to drain real slow. But I can already see that, you know, after a season of being out there water, you know, it's, it's real dark, uh, doesn't have any water or anything in it like that. I don't see any, you know, I don't see any real problems other than it's just been used real hard and, uh, you know, we put a lot of time on it and uh, that's why it needs to be changed. This is one of the most important things you can do each year is to change that gear lube to protect yourself from having an engine go out, you know, your low unit go out or, or uh, anything like that. And you're also checking that seal. So there's no water in there, that's a good sign. That gear lube takes a while to drain. So while I'm waiting for that, I'll do some other things. You know, one of the big ones is to make sure that your fuel is stabilized. So uh, I use the Startron enzyme fuel treatment all the time. Every time I go to the gas pump, um, you know, I, I put a little bit in there. This is just great insurance. It makes, keeps the engine running good, make sure you don't get any moisture buildup in there. And uh, it's, it's a really good deal. And it stabilizes your fuel. So if you use this, you don't have to put any just fuel stabilizer in it at the end of the season. So one, an ounce treat 16 gallons. And if you don't get it exactly right, I mean, you could pour the whole bottle in there and it's not gonna hurt your engine. But this is really good stuff. I use it all the time both in my bass boat and in my pontoon boat. If you don't, at the end of the season, just go by how much uh, gas you have in your tank and put some fuel stabilizer in there. And you wanna try to run that engine a little bit with that in there. So if you, if you don't fog the engine, you definitely wanna get a little bit of that stabilized fuel all the way through the engine. So we trailer our pontoon really all over the state. I've been down south and uh, you know, we put a lot of miles on it. So checking the trailer is another key thing. So, First and foremost, I want to check all the lights, make sure they're all working, the blinkers, everything, brake lights, everything's working, nothing's broken. And then also the bearings. I'm going to check the tire pressure um, and, and lube these up a little bit. These are these easy lube bearings that come with these uh, Tracker Trail Star trailers. So they're very easy. All you have to do is pop the grease cap off, give it a couple shots of grease, and you're good to go. Trailer bearings are something you want to definitely make sure you take care of. So. These uh, trail stars, they come with these easy lube bearings. You just pop that rubber cap off and, and I can see there's, there's good grease there already, but I'll still pop it on there and, and give it a pump or two just to, just to see. You see, yeah, I mean, immediately it's coming right back out. So that's just a good way to ensure that everything is, is good with your trailer hub and your bearings. So all I wanna do is basically, we got it pumped up all right. Is you start from the bottom hole and uh, and fill it till it comes out the top hole, and then uh, and then put that screw in. I like to let it come out a little bit. Some engines, you know, a lot of the smaller engines, some of the older engines, they have the gear lube is two screws on the outside of the gear case. And again, it's the same process. You fill from the bottom and fill it till it comes out the top, and. Uh, just make sure that it's in there and we've got all brand new clean gear lube and we're ready to go for the whole next season. So super important to make sure that you got the, uh, 
that O-ring on there. That's why they make them bright yellow so you can't miss them. We are ready to go. Let's clean that up and put the prop back on. Ready for next year. This is one of the nice things about being able to do this here at DNR is, you know, they've got a waste oil tank. So this is important just to make sure that you take the gear lube or if you're changing the oil on your engine and uh, take it to a proper facility to get it recycled. So, so we finished up the engine at DNR and we're back at my house now. And, uh, you know, this is where I store the boat. I keep it in a heated barn, but the last thing you have to take care of is your battery. So, you know, here in the battery compartment, I don't have to disconnect them because my shop is heated uh, and I've got a built-in battery charger. So a couple of times during the winter, I may just plug it in for a few minutes or whatever, just to make sure that they're topped off. But with that battery switch, it cuts all power to everything. It's a great system. So if you're gonna store your pontoon outside, you know, it's shrink wrapped, it's best to take the battery out. So you wanna take it out, uh, take it inside, keep it where it's nice and stable temperature, charge it up before you do that you'll be a lot happier in the spring. So one of the big things when you're trailing in a lot of times, you're gonna get some bugs on the seats and that. So I like to use some of this extreme clean uh, just to get all the bugs, get everything cleaned up. So at the end of the season, I wipe down the seats, any, any stains or anything like that, or any bugs, I can get them off just like magic with this. Super easy and quick. And uh, you know, just basically almost the only thing that is above my truck is where you're gonna get a bug on it. So I just check the seats over look for look for that clean up any spots that i need to and i'm good to go i mean for this boat having four hard seasons of use on it it still really looks showroom and it's because i use the right products to take care of the vinyl you know after i wipe it down get the bugs off this is something that i'm a huge believer in it's vinyl guard so it basically moisturizes the seat gives it uv protection and before you put it away for the winter this is something that's real critical to do you know it's going to keep those seats from drying out um, if you've got it covered up or shrink wrapped anything like that when you pop it out in the spring it is going to look showroom again so i spray down all the seats wipe them all down it only takes a few minutes and it goes a long ways but it just it really does a fantastic job and uh, anything vinyl, anything like that, it's really gonna do a great job on. In every pontoon boat, one of the areas that really you wanna watch moisture in is underneath your seats. In my Regency, I have a ski tow uh, storage in the floor, and that always stays damp during the summer. So one of the things that I do is I just like these, these moisture control and mildew bags. They're really easy to use. Um, I can just take one of these and toss it in the seat hold, and it's gonna you know, protect it all winter long. And then this just hangs right here, you know, right on that shock absorber, and it's going to absorb any moisture that's in there. So biggest thing is even in my garage, you know, with the temp you know, changing and it getting cooler in the winter, it can absorb some moisture in the boat, and this is gonna protect everything inside these compartments. The last thing that I wanna take care of is the outside of the pontoon. You know, this is an all black boat. It shows water spots for sure, but it cleans up so easy. If you have an aluminum pontoon, or, and you got anodized rails and things like that, Starbright makes a full line of aluminum cleaner, aluminum polish, and aluminum protector, which is really critical. So if you take the boat out at the end of the year and you've kept it in the dock and it's got you know all that algae growth on there, it takes it right off pretty quickly and easily. They got scrub brushes and things to do that. You can use a power washer, but with this setup that I've got right here, it just makes it really easy. I mean, I can wipe this whole boat down in like 15 minutes and again, it just, it just looks awesome when you're done. So that really didn't take us very long at all. You know, it's so important that you follow the right steps to winterize and get your boat ready for storage. It's gonna save you a lot of headaches in the spring. 